Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Unio, which is a new tool for hosting an online lesson. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to sign into my account. And I'm signing in as a teacher. And let's say I want to create a new lesson. So I have my history class, and I'm going to create a new lesson within that class. Now, creating a lesson is essentially creating a series of slides. You can do something like this, where you select a pencil and you can do a little drawing. So this would be great if you're sharing your screen with students and you want to walk them through the lesson. You can also go in and use text on a screen. And as you can see, you can change your font size and style. Let's add another screen. And here we can upload documents and images and videos from YouTube. You can also create an activity in the form of a little quiz. The quiz title here will be Tour de France. And we'll say who won last year's We'll indicate the correct response and we'll add another option here. And now let's save that question. And we can add more questions if we want to or just finish it as is. And I'm going to drag that up to be the third slide in the quiz or in the lesson. Now, let's go ahead and launch this live for my students to join in. So my students go to the address you see on the screen here. And let's sign in as a student right now. And so a student comes along, let's say it's Mason, and he's going to enter the ID number that we see on the screen, 4034. And he joins the lesson. And now he sees my slides here on the screen. Now, you'll notice that he does not have a control to advance the lesson himself. So he's going to rely on me advancing the lesson. But what he can do is he can add his own content to the slide. Let's say he wants to go in and draw his own. And as a teacher, I might have asked him a question about this. Can you now add four and four? And what do you get? And he writes on the screen. Now, as the teacher, as I mentioned, I'm in control of what they see on the screen. So there's the quiz question, and I'm going to hit Start Quiz. And over here, Mason now sees the question appear on his screen. And he submits it. Now he can't move on to the next slide or the next portion of the lesson until I advance on my side. I'll look at my quiz results and I can see how Mason did and I'll end the quiz. And now I can end the lesson at any time. Now the important thing to note about Unio is that this is designed to be used with everyone in the same room where they'll be able to hear me talk about the slides that are on the screen. So really this is just a great way to deliver slides uh, to your students' devices and keep them all on the same slide at the same time in your class.
classroom during your lesson. So for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com and practicaledtech.com.